morning hi everyone um welcome to another video and uh, today is a very special one because we are at a show um it is so exciting it is enzo and i's first ever show we're at the gigi gannup ccn i'm pretty sure um so we're just gonna go check on him now and then we're gonna go get my numbers check out the grounds um we arrived last night so at least he's all nice and settled but this is him here oh i need to clean out his sitting his breakfast hi enzo so we are en route to get our numbers um but if you guys are enjoying my videos by the way don't forget to like and subscribe it would mean the world to me um but this is our dressage arenas so it's all been freshly raked it looks gorgeous um it's a little bit overcast today but it's due to warm up <laughs> numbers I am number 400 for this event um, I also got my coffee as well um, I found out that I am in arena number two and that is right in the middle of all the rest so front and center um, doesn't make me more nervous at all um, so I am just gonna walk back to Enzo now I've got I think about three to four hours before I actually do my test so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna tuck him up get in a quick ride now make sure he's relaxed try and make me relaxed because I'm also quite nervous it's our first show so I'm just hoping to get round in one piece but yeah so we'll go do that and then my test is at 10 to 11 <laughs> So I just had a quick ride on Enzo and he was so good. I'm very impressed so that's made me a lot more relaxed as well. But now I have to clean my riding boots. They are very dirty. I've just got all the dirt off. So now I've just got some leather balsam to put all over them and make them look nice and good for my dressage test. I've just put a little bit of sunscreen on my face because the sun is out and I think I'm going to get a bit sunburned. I've got a couple of hours to kill. So I'm just going to run through my test about a hundred times and then get changed. So Enzo is all dressed up. We're both ready to go for our dressage. Um, I'm riding in about half an hour's time. I don't think he needs too big of a warm up because um, I did ride him this morning and I just don't want to overdo it for tomorrow because tomorrow we've got show jumping and cross country in one day. Um, but yeah, he looks the part. We're feeling good. So fingers crossed we get through this test all right.
Dressage is done. I'm so happy with him. Um, for our first dressage test, I'm pretty impressed. Left cant canter probably was a bit rushed, but then our right one, he just, I think I was a little bit um, nicer and a bit calmer about it. And he was like, oh, okay. So yeah, so that was really good. Very happy with him. Um, so we're just gonna fill up his hay net now. And then that's all done for the day. Um, so we'll look forward to show jumping tomorrow and cross country tomorrow as well. But he was very good. So I found out my dressage score and I cannot believe it, but we're actually sitting in second. <laughs> I'm so happy with him. Um, we got a score of 28.1, I think it was. Um, and considering that was his first dressage test, I couldn't be happier. Um, so I'm very, very, very proud of you. So we don't have anything else on for the rest of the day. So what we'll do is, is we'll probably go out and cross country and walk the course. Um, I think this guy's pretty tired now. Are you tired? Um, but yeah, we'll make sure that we bring you guys along and check out all the cross country jumps. So we are walking the cross country course at the moment. So 4 minutes 22 is the optimum time. Um, so I'll show you guys each of the jumps, um, but the speed is 400 meters a minute as well. So we're just going to come up to jump one and I'll show you the rest. So that means it's show jumping and cross country day. Um, I slept for about eight hours last night. Not too bad. The kookaburra has woke me up this morning. I reckon at about five. Um, so we've just made a little coffee this morning just to kick start the day. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about show jumping and cross country just because I think I'm sitting in second, which I is totally unexpected. Um, but yeah, so Enzo's already been fed this morning, but I'm just gonna take him for a quick walk to stretch his legs, um, and then we'll start getting ready for show jumping. <laughs> So I'm just going to walk my show jumping course. I'm on in about an hour and a half. So I'm going to check out all the jumps and work out my strides.
right, so I guess you guys would have seen just in the previous footage that I unfortunately knocked two rails in the show jump round. Obviously a little disappointed. Um, we've moved from second place to 12th out of, I think, 32 starters. Um, so yeah, pretty disappointed. Um, I just think I didn't really get him to a good spot to that first jump and the B element um, in the double that he knocked the other one, he just forgot where his back legs were and just knocked it over so um nothing really spooked him though so that's a really good thing so that i was really proud of him for that um and we kept a nice pace around the whole course but yeah lots to improve on in the show jumping and i'm just walking the cross country course now um and hoping that we go clear and in time and so yeah i know he's really good at cross country we just had the training event not long ago when nothing really faced him so i'm going into the cross country feeling positive and i hope that he'll be nice and bold and brave for me too so the countdown is on. I've got about an hour until I go cross country. I've written all my times on my arm, my minute markers, and got my watch on already. Just gonna check on Enzo and make sure that he's got enough food and water. And then I guess we'll start getting ready and tacked up. Hey buddy, do you wanna come say hi? <sighs> We need the sun to come out. Gosh, it's freezing. Uh, so I think I've got about four, 45, 50 minutes until I go, but I'm just kind of getting prepared now so I'm not in such a rush, you know, in case something happens. It's better to be prepared. Whoop. My numbers. Oh. Yeah. Gotta put my helmet on. I haven't got my helmet camera on today. Um, we needed some other screws for the GoPro to go on my helmet. So we haven't put it on today, but hopefully in the next couple of shows that I attend, I'll be able to get some bird's eye view <laughs> for you guys. Um, let me know if you'd like to see that too in the comments. Um, Cause I'm not sure if that's something that you guys would like to see or not. I like watching them, but I don't know if you guys do. Um, I might put my jacket on just cause I'm a bit cold. If it fits. <laughs> kind of, that'll do. Watch. All right, and then we'll go get the gear and take it over to Enzo. Okay guys, we just finished cross country. I'm so happy. Um, we went double clear. I'm pretty sure we were within time. Um, he was just loving himself out there. He was having the best time, weren't you bud? Um, but yeah, so we went clear. There was nothing that really spooked him too much. There was a couple of tricky lines um, that we had to do, but overall, so impressed with him. Um, shame about the show jumping. Um, eight volts for the two rails, but 
all in all, good weekend. That is Gidja Ganup, Cece and done. I'm so happy with how he performed over the last two days. Bit of a shame about show jumping, but at least we've got something to work on for our next event, which I believe is Waraloo. Um, but cross country, we went double clear, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully we've moved up a couple of placings, um, but he deserves a lot of carrots. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, but don't forget guys to like and subscribe, but otherwise I will see you on my next video. Bye.